some behind the scenes baseball for folks uh watching live right now uh there may be a vlog going up soon featuring tam lucy with special guest appearances Ooh. of jean Luc. Ooh, i'm excited they get uh... oh wait hang on do I... are you guys hearing me yeah you guys hear me oh, there we go um they got that footage over to you that's fun they got the footy over to me. They were, oh, uh, they thought it'd be sparse, but there, there's some good stuff in here. Literally, the second I hit by, it's not even, I'm not even joking. Literally, oh, no. the second I hit by, he sends the code over. No! <laughs> <sighs> okay, whatever. They were watching the live. They were watching live. Yeah, he this was, was waiting. A planned, this was a planned hit. Thank you, Scooter. That code doesn't go anywhere. I bet uh, you. Yeah, it's it's not. It's just a circuit. Yeah, it's a pathway to hell. That is. That's just fun stuff. Okay, so it's downloading. Uh, in the meantime, I suppose. I suppose like I, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit. I I got sent these controllers. They're shiny little light up controllers for the Switch. Um, there's this, and they actually have. They make one where it's like, oh yeah, it's just a game pad. But then they make one of those split pad Pro kind of things for the Steam for the Switch itself. And they also light up, and they're pretty. They're pretty neat. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit funky on the the camera there, but kind of makes it glow a little bit. And I'm into it. They're actually really comfortable. I actually really like this. I was. Uh, I've been playing a long time with a one of the grip things on the on the. I can't want to call it a Steam Deck on the Switch, where um you like slide the whole thing into these grips, and it adds the sort of back paddle, so it's a little bit more comfortable in the hands. That's a bit too bulky, and it makes it more difficult. Like you can't just then put it into a, a dock. This, even uh, though it's more comfortable and it has the grippy things, uh, you could still just slide it right into the dock and it's good to go. So I'm, I'm pretty into it. Let's see here. Let me uh, turn off this music that they can't even hear, I don't think. You guys can't even hear this anymore. There we go. All right. Everybody, this is a, it's a very grubby Monday stream. Uh, while Xenoblade downloads, I probably shouldn't play anything because that makes things, makes things go slower on the Switch, right? Let's actually just close this. Just close software. Is that Does that actually work? Is that a I thing? Is, I is don't it like... know. It's a thing on the Xbox, like the new Xboxes are like that. So I would assume it's like even worse for the Switch because it's like writing things with the CPU. Is that oh, just in my I head, you think? That, that, well, that makes sense to me. But then it, does, does Sony still do the thing where it's slightly faster to download if it's in standby mode or like uh, rest mode? I think Sony has like fixed it so it just like goes all out right from no matter what you're doing. It's a pretty fast download oh, okay. on PlayStation 5 now. And it's really fast on Xbox if you close like the game. I wonder if, I, at least that's what it was like in the, like the first year of the Xbox Series X and S. I wonder if they've changed that. Uh, Cause I remember people complaining about slow downloads a lot. Oh, there's a lobster in your show? That's cool. Oh, Lucky that is girl. cool. All right, Jan, what should I expect from Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Um, let's see. How many movies have you watched that feature child soldiers and war? I mean, most of them. Red Dawn, <laughs> uh, every anime. Uh, okay, so child soldiers and war. That sounds like a good start. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I say child soldiers, but it's like a, it's like an implied children. Right. The, Teens. The, okay, yes. An, an anime adult, which is a child, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No one, from what I remember, wears any type of school uniform. Well, mm, never mind. Kind <laughs> of academy uniform. Is that sure. the same as a school uniform? I think. I think it's pretty close. I, I would. I could see conflating the two pretty easily. Let's see. Let me go play this while this happens. I got a bunch of stuff ready to go for my uh, hacked GameCube here. There we go. Okay. <gasps> now we're cube. now we're, I hacked the cube. Um, what is that? What is the, is it a skateboarding movie? Gleaming, gleaming the cube. Gleaming yes. the cube. I've never seen it. What is what does it mean to gleam a, cu a cube? I think it's just like when you lightly touch it with oh, your okay. skateboard. I mean, that's all. That's all I'm about is lightly. Oh, I should have done. I should have done safe search for this. Oh no! Oh no! I'm just, 
gleaming. Wait, are you wait, are you searching gleaming or are you searching uh, academy schoolgirl outfits? <laughs> gleaming, gleaming the cube. Yeah. It is the name of a neo noir film. Uh, but what is it? In skateboarding. It's not the right game. I guess it was used for the what movie. On earth are you talking about? Yeah, sure, kiddo. It was the name of a skate movie. I thought it was also a term. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... I'm hmm. Why is this playing Soul Calibur 2? I don't think I started Soul Calibur 2. I actually start, I accidentally started Soul Calibur 2. Okay, fair enough. You're right. It's okay, that often. happens. Yeah, that I happens. mean, that's just the life we've chosen. Greg, will it mess up any of your, your jazz business here if I dip out uh, no. later? Okay, no, you're, cool. you're all good. You get in, get out whenever you want. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate that. Of course, that's what I'm here for. Let's see. All right, we're going to play a little... Get it? Oh, what is that? Is that you just hearing that? That's right. That her I heard something. A, I hear something. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hang on. No, uh, Mike. Uh, Jeff did not install the game yet. Listen, I was hopeful that I'd get a code, and I did. It just took some time. Where is it? Why is this not capturing now? Scooter should send you 60 bucks now. That, yeah, that's, how it that's, works. that's how it works. That's the rules. Yeah. And then you should ask him to add more funds to uh, everything. Yes. <laughs> All right, let me uh, start another game capture here and see if that works. Does Soul Calibur have endings? I don't remember. I think it does. Are they, or are they, are they like just text endings maybe? Oh, they might just be text endings. Oh, or according to Mike, they do. Text and pictures. Oh, man. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right, here's what we'll do. Put download progress right there. that game there and then put me here all right let's play some sega soccer slam Ooh, i've not played this in a very very long time i thought that sounded familiar it's um it was uh, it was never very like super duper popular, but it was definitely in that era when we were getting a lot of really good um, you know arcadey sports games. And I remember playing a lot of it, and then I never touched it again. And the the practice icon here is apparently VLC. They're going to run that in VLC here with this this cone. What? Oh, okay, I get it. I yeah, like, see, there you go. Maybe now you get this game it. Game uses yeah. VLC. Why? Yeah, apparently, yeah. Sorry, I just have these web M's that I need to play. I understand. Elf wig. Oh, I man, this game had a look, too. Spirit, as it slowly loads in. Oh, folks are saying no game sound, but maybe I just hear it because I'm in Discord. You hear it. I'll get game sound for y'all in just a second. Let me turn that up. So, like, right about there, that should be good. Sorry, my audio is all over the place in this OBS thing I got going on here. Uh, okay, there it yeah. is. Yeah, okay. We good? Thank you, everybody. Okay. So, Sega Soccer Slam. What am I going to play as here? Actually, I'm going to bring it back up. Should I pull up a tier list? For Absolutely. Sega Soccer Slam. Tier list. Sega Soccer Slam. Yeah, I kind of think she's like, put on a video of a, a car driving over toys, and it's making the worst crunching sound. <laughs> Kids. All right. Uh, well, this these look like my boys right here. Tsunami, wave of destruction. Yeah. No. No. It, it, there's no tier list. It turns out for right, second okay, soccer slam, unfortunately. Nah. Oh, lethal passing. I'm gonna go against toxic. And we're gonna go the Colosso Dome. 
Oh, I should kind of play this. Uh, that's totally the controller I'm holding. Holding, absolutely. Yep, got your C stick. I got my C stick ready to go. Pass. Welcome to Sega Soccer Land. I'm Tony Stiggs, and I don't believe it. This place is absolutely. Oh, I don't believe it. Don't play soccer. Don't play play soccer. Like we're doing the north. Oh, he's confused about which sport he's playing. He's wearing uh, football pads. I get it. Oh, man. It's like it's right up behind everything, too. It's, okay, see, it's like a different game. Oh, man. You're going to tackle me? Oh, he's barefoot. This guy owns. He's in touch with the field. Yeah. Now, are they toxic because they're supposed to be the U.S.? <laughs> maybe, yeah. They're the uh, toxic... Yeah, I mean, maybe. Because he's just totally... Weird. Like, think he's, he thinks he's going to play football. Brings his pads. Oh, that was a good shot. That should have gone in. Get in the hole. It's my Got island this. boy coming for you. How's this field? Jeff. It still feels pretty good. Uh, it's like snappy and um, it's, you know, I, the good thing about arcade sports games, they're like simple. I already pretty much have have it down like what I need to be doing. I'm going to like these uh, big arrows about which guy I'm going to pass to. That's pretty neat. Like more of these sports games should just be that like that. Yeah, it turns out. Huh? So oh, what's he doing? What's she doing? She, okay. Whoa. No. Oh, that, that was toxic. Yes. <laughs> Now, do you think it's toxic because she's the um, bald Britney Spears? Oh, I like that. I, I like that. I guess what we're going for. My God, yeah. Yeah! Just knock him down. Take him out. Wow, 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 wow. What a response. You don't need any flashy moves. Sorry, watch. Just clothesline. Clothesline. And just tap it in. I'm just watching the uh, Twitch feed, uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm with the audience and t listening to everything. I can give you the game Fresh. probably if you want, but I think you're busy working on the edit. Ah, oh, we'll we'll just wait we'll... wait till Xenoblade, and then that's all I need. There we go. Okay. I'm feeling the sports though. Me too. Oh my god. You got a favorite one of these like arcade sports games? Uh NBA Street Volume 2 is probably the best game ever made. Um oh, very specific. It's really, really, really good. Uh to this day it holds up. That's cheating. I'm curious as to what the state of um street ball is at in general. You mean like the real life street ball people getting together on the street and playing and like what you mean like, like were there like leagues of street ball like and like, one is um, that what you mean yeah and one like i remember and one being super yes. huge like a, ma a major brand yeah and like street ball like doing all the tricks and stuff being fairly big what's yeah i remember that what's, too. Up, what's up with slam ball what's going on with slam ball yeah they need to bring back slam ball Ooh, i too at one point had and one socks <laughs> we all end up with and one socks eventually. I felt like I was hot stuff. I still can't dribble a ball properly. I could dribble real well. I can't shoot for shit. Slam ball is coming back according to uh, Propaganda Panda. I feel like slam ball is always coming back in one way or another. Uh, it's just like it always feels like it's one of those things like someone wants to bring back slam ball and then that never necessarily turns into anything. Oh, Bocce CBS ball. Sports. Now there's an extreme sport. Oh, 5,000%. I, uh, when we lived in Columbus, me and my then girlfriend, uh, lived in Italian village and right across the street, they'd have the Italian fest and, uh, literally right next to her house, they would set up the house we lived in together, but it was hers. Um, they would set up the bocce ball tournament and, uh, that was a good time. I, I, I hope you you wore nothing but suspenders during this this relationship <laughs> and just oh, yeah. like 
tight-ish button-up shirts where your sleeves rolled up. And you know it. Yeah, and you had like a, a basil leaf in your mouth at all times, just chewing it. That's That was me. I was uh, going for a look. Jeff Grubb, you, you, have you watched Slam Ball like when it was on the television? I, not when it was on television. I have seen it since, um, mm. for sure. But uh, I did not watch much of it when it, just much like Battle Dome, I've come to Battle Dome late. Yeah, okay. I, I have this CBS Sports article in front of me, and they have a section called, What is Slam Ball? Um, the first sentence is inspired. Slam ball is a contact sport that most resembles basketball. With a few important twists. No. Oh, that's uh that's like when um Nintendo calls uh Mario soccer, they're like, this is not soccer soccer. It's inspired by soccer, but it's called strike. It's like okay. Uh just like hockey, there's unlimited substitutions. Oh, there's only four players on the court at each time. Interesting. Like, also, Jeff Grubb, how how long would you say these whole games are? A game of slam ball, yes, with unlimited sus substitutions. I I think it's two halves that are fifteen minutes each. Kind of so, close to the total time. Thirty minutes. So, games are twenty minutes. Ooh, okay separated by four five minute quarters that's okay wow that's a very quick game yeah that's very quick and they're like well people get injured too much so we just gotta gotta keep it short so there's enough players to finish the match it sounds like this is a thing where they just batch record uh games all oh, right yes there that makes sense and yeah that sounds like a sport that was um built about a uh, built like they built the whole like concept of like the timing of the games around union rules like, all right, the union crew <laughs> needs to work for this long. Let's just, yeah, let's just make the game 20 minutes. Come on. There are three positions. There's a handler, which is a point guard, a gunner, and a stopper. Very, wow. very inspired. Yeah, that's, um, I'm pretty sure that they stole all that. No, I'm the other way around. Uh, she stole all of that for Quidditch, but it's just yes. basically slam ball. Just really terrible slam ball. Yeah, yeah. Lose. I'm trying to like figure out the other moves, and I just leave my characters keep getting left behind. I didn't actually read this. Uh, bringing back, supposedly, summer of 2023. Summer 2023, huh? I wanted to. I, I, did the XFL come back yet again? So the rock has some ownership in it. Right. Now. And I've seen them announce the teams. So I think it's slowly coming out. Island boy going to put it in the back. Uh, R and a grub high lob to set up killer kick. Okay. Whatever R and a is on your R GameCube plus controller. a. Wow. Uh, okay. All right. I got you. Thank you. Oh man! You watch uh, you watch the Prey movie, Grub? I did not. I uh, I got Hulu loaded up, and then I did not actually see it through. Oh, it's real good. It's real good. Yeah, it's definitely my my jam. I like everything they're doing with that. All right. Come on. Maybe I'll temporarily change the I'm Twitch category. Arnett. Maybe I, maybe I need to be. Let's see, let's try. Eh. Okay, that, those aren't working for me, so maybe it's... Uh, I'll change the title to Jet Grub Downloads. <laughs> Exciting action. <laughs> oh, that goalie's too good for you. I think I just threw it backwards. That was like a backhand. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, there we go. No, maybe not. Sorry, meter has to be ready to go. Okay. 
Mm. So maybe I'm using too much meter. I'm going to ban that person because they lied. Or they yeah, did not man. give all the information. Put them in the giant bomb hole. Absolutely. Kyle, your days are numbered. All Who's right. talking? This nerd. Okay, that was the child. <laughs> Can't believe they put nerds in this video game. That makes me so mad. As someone who's not a nerd. No, of course not. Ah! Oh, I gotta remember the deke button. That's right. Always be deking. And that's how I live my life. What do you say is the best sports movie? And why is it the Mighty Duck trilogy? Uh, Mighty Duck is pr Mighty Ducks is pretty good. Uh, oh my god. Um, I like many hockey movies. Miracle is pretty good. Um, I like mm -hmm. baseball games are probably the best though. I like For the Love of the Game, uh, even though it's really cheesy. Um, Longest Yard with Adam Sandler, yeah. All American classic. Rocky Four. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good sports movies. Karate All Kid, right. I I forgot where I talked about this on, but is Karate Kid a sports movie? Yeah, it's basically I think it, Rocky, right? I think it counts. It's, yeah, yes, it's basically Rocky. It's the same director as Rocky, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, it counts, it counts though. Hmm. Is Bloodsport a yes. sports movie? Because well, sport a, is in the a, title. Is it, kung fu, is it a kung fu movie, like a martial arts film? Uh, I think, hmm. I think it's a sports movie because it's about the tournament. Like it's about like it's right. about the winning the tournament. It's about the Kumite. It's about the Kumite. Look, Bloodsport is great. It's a good movie. <laughs> I love Bloodsport. I love the the flashback of young Jean Claude uh, with the oh, two different giants <laughs> teams. Uh huh. And it, the the little boy doing the um, Jean Claude Van Damme accent. It's uh, it's very good. <laughs> He made him sound Dutch, if I yeah. recall correctly. Yes. What's what's the over under on Jean Claude right now? Is he is he okay? I think he's okay. I, I knew he did that like Jean Claude show. What was it on like Amazon Prime? Um, he, like he shows up in movies. I think he like knows his place now. Like he was definitely right. having that rough go of it after his um his like string of decent hits, and then things went bad, and and people were, were just not interested in watching those movies for a long time. And now he's like, oh, I, I can just show up and do a cameo in a modern action movie and people will be really excited. And that's kind of where I need to be. And then like JV, JVCD, that movie is actually really good. Um, but he's done some cool stuff. He messed up uh, the Bouncer SEO because he released the movie called The Bouncer. Wow. And that's very rude of him. Yes. How, how, how old is JCVD right now? He's got the approaching 60, I would assume. 61. Yeah, there we go. What does he look like as of right now? I'm going to I'm going to look on his Instagram. Yeah, you got to go JVCD 2022. He looks okay. Get in the he hole. He looks okay. Face looks a little tight sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got an old, older actor look, right? Yeah. How do you feel? Not to talk about the way people look, but, like, people that always look young, and now, uh, like, okay, I, oh, age just finally caught him. Tom Cruise finally starting to look a little old. Not that there's anything wrong with looking old. No, 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 no. Yeah, a little, it, it's looking there. I don't know if he himself is ready to make that transition right. in Hollywood yet. Exactly, like to be old, an old man. I mean, I think you know that's why he's like, "Oh, we're gonna do two more Mission Impossible movies. Uh, we film it, film it, We're gonna film them at the same time." Like he knows, but I, don't, I think you're right. Like, when is he gonna like pull the bandage off and just like be like, "Oh, and now I am an old guy in movies, and that's okay." Yeah. The cake up, Steel Knight uh, says he looks old in reality. The cake on the makeup in movie. Yeah, I think he's probably got like his own like CGI makeup team and stuff, I would bet. Oh, totally. Yeah, Keanu's also looking a little old. Again, we're not okay, we're not we age go. shaming here. 
yeah no nothing wrong with it like it, it's like it happens it's a natural part of uh of living um yeah and i think keanu's like pulling it off right yeah in every in every regard like in life like he just looks like he's like okay with being an old guy now yeah there's like a an acceptance to his standing in life yeah that is admirable to keanu Whatever. I totally slide tackled you and killed your entire life. There's a thing that I I forget where I heard this, uh, but where where Tom Cruise and Will Smith. Okay, okay. This was like an old old Kanye West interview, but he modeled one of his music videos after Tom Cruise and Will Smith always insisting that they always have to run in a movie. Because <laughs> to the both of them, that is the ultimate example of being like an action hero or a right. movie star is you need full on running. I mean, I don't know if it's wrong. Yeah. So somehow I feel like we need to work into the bomb cast full on running scenes. I, I, hey, I'm right there with you. I'm gonna, I'll go practice my sprint. Yeah. I, I don't know how we'll coordinate it, but maybe we'll just start with Discord on our phones. Yeah. And then run to our desks, respectively. <laughs> okay, game of the year. I have no idea if we're planning on skits or just straight up discussions. Or just a lot of clips of us running. There's a lot of clips of us running. I love it. You can get um, a gimbal and just like hold it out in front of us. Oh yeah. We see the, the trick is we have to uh <clears throat> we we have to run with each other as we're doing it. So someone has to do double duty holding the gimbal as everyone mm -hmm. is running. Yeah. Could you rent a steady cam like a full on steady cam? Oh yeah. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Uh, that, that could be fine. Oh, get it. Uh, Don Pure Evil brings up the idea of only skits, no discussions. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I also like it uh, back in like the mid 2000s video games, still very confident about doing nationalistic stereotypes. <laughs> like, like you're just you look, you're going to look hella German. Like we're just going to do that. And you're going to look like you are from South America. And that's as specific as we're going to get. But you're going to know just by looking at this person. Like, okay. Yeah, I feel like Overwatch, Valorant, yeah. and to an extent Street Fighter are like slightly pushing against racial stereotypes. Exactly. Yeah, like they're like just at least trying to under undercut it a little bit. Um, yeah. But like Punch Out and stuff was just, no, this person's <laughs> name is Piston Honda or Piston Hondo or whatever. And we're going to and make him come out to Japanese music, obviously. And yeah, and then this guy's from Fr French and when you punch him, baguettes are going to fly out of him. It's like, OK, all right. Right, right. Oh, I guess arms was kind was arms mm, kind, oh, kind of. Yeah, she's got ramen hair, right? Yeah, so not, not as bad as a uh, ramen man from Ultimate Muscle. <laughs> All right, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is nearly done downloading. Oh, I should I should change the Twitch category when that happens. Yeah. Was ARMS fun? I don't remember if it was fun or not. I think people had fun with it. Yeah, that's a safe assumption. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I didn't love it. Okay, there. I'm like looking in the wrong direction for my turbo and everything. Yeah, maybe we'll just do all skits. <laughs> is this is that character based on the Run Lola Run character? Her name's Lola, the, and she's got, like, blue hair. Did Lola even have blue hair? Am I just making that up? Run. Uh, red hair. Red hair, okay. 
Franca Patenti. She was in Born Identity, right? She was in the Borns. The Borns. If we do do skits, I somehow, I feel like we're going to be limited on time as, as everything. Weird. Uh, <laughs> I really <laughs> want to do a ghost hunting skit. Yes. You ever watch we have Troll Show? Uh, yes. It? Yes. And they do the, the ghost bouncers. <laughs> which is based on that, that, like the douchiest ghost hunting show, which is also my favorite. Uh, yeah, I, uh, when I was in Vegas, I really was trying to convince my partner to go see that guy's mini museum in his house. Oh, 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 oh that, that sentence just kept getting better <laughs> uh, in his it? house. Oh, it's not as, as Zach something. Yeah. Um, but I, I think he supposedly has the animal. Oh, it's closed. Oh, Zach Baggins. That's his name. Zach Baggins. Zach with a K. Hell of a name. There was, okay. I don't know how in tune you are with the paranormal drama, uh, Jeff. I'm not, a, I'm not aware of the scene drama in the paranormal community <laughs> now. Are you familiar with the movie Annabelle? Uh, yes, yes. I've heard, uh, so, I think I listened to them talk about it on a couple of podcasts. Uh, uh, the, the movie cast, or, you know, what, what you, uh, the slash film cast, uh, they talked about it there a little bit. Okay, so... It is loosely right. based on a real Annabelle Raggedy Ann doll, right? Okay. Uh, I think I, I remember that Slash Filmcast episode. I think they, they went into a little bit of the history. Yes, they touched on this a little bit, yeah. So the original family of the Warrens, Ed and Lorraine Warren, uh, the doll is still in that family's custody, but Zach Baggins, I think... Uh, want i think he had purchased it or they they were trying to shoot a, a segment with uh the doll they had a bunch of cameras pointed at it and there's a clip of i think him saying that the demon inside the annabelle doll was trying to tell him to touch the doll's foot oh no okay like, I, I think ah, i need to find this that's uh that sounds like a, a z-bag move <laughs> Oh, now I'm just getting a bunch of random foot videos <laughs> with the Annabelle doll. Annabelle's foot. Yep. Oh, there's an episode of Post Malone in the Haunted House. Oh, my God. Of course there is. He's a bastard. Oh, hey, Zeno's done. All right, let's go check on this. Let's, uh... We fix this. Oh, I will change the Twitch category. Here, somebody get the ice box. That bloke is red hot. You know, played. For this all updated thank you appreciate it and then let's do all right switch out my controllers here could you also show me xenoblade i'm gonna show you xenoblade right now let's do that let's uh Chance, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's what's the best way to let me think about the best way to do that? I mean, can I know what to do? You're just gonna have to look at my OBS window, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, you should be seeing it, right? Yes, I'm seeing it. 
Perfect. Fantastic. All right. And then chat, let me know if anything gets all like weird or choppy or anything. I think we're probably going to be okay. All right. Uh, let's, let's, let's play anime. Let's do it. I believe in myself. I believe in you. You've, you've been watching Naruto. I have been watching Naruto. There's no denying that. I have to admit that publicly per the uh, charter of anime watching. Right. It's like in, you know, an AA meeting, you got to kind of like announce when you're doing stuff. Exactly. You know, let me see what the volume is going to be on this capture for this game. Yes, everyone, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to need you to ring your own anime horns independently at home. <laughs> All right, you guys should likely be hearing it. Am I hearing it, though? That's my big issue. Let me see here. I probably have to turn on the monitor. Properties, enhanced audio properties. Uh, monitor and output. Oh, now I'm hearing it. You're hearing it now? I'm hearing it. Oh, fingers crossed they are. Oh, Cosby, you have to ring the anime horn. I don't care that you're at work. Game has been updated. All right, here we go. Everyone, let's hop in. I'm going to play on normal. I gotta tell you, it doesn't matter for like the first couple hours. Yeah, fair enough. I somehow convinced Vinny to play a very JRPG game one year. I think this is the beginning of me convincing another staff member to do so as I well. Think what, I think that's what we've done here, yeah. I've heard good things about it. Yeah, I seem to like it. It's a, it's a better start than JRPGs normally have. Right. That's uh, I I, I personally am impressed that they did that. All right, that's that's probably good right there, everybody. Right? You guys can hear the talking. Yeah. Move your feet. Hop, hop, run like you mean it. Well, here we go. So oh, is that going to be the, that's going to be the whole game as they talk like this, right? Is oh, true, yeah. Though? There's going to be fireworks. <laughs> yeah. This is what kids are like so about I'm fireworks, though, for day. sure. There were loads of them. It'll be worth it, promise. I can't wait till you meet these little, like, dudes wiggling around. Man, wiggle dudes. I thought she was still down here watching this crunching show. I'm going to turn it off. Is this what the kids are into now? Crunching? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Oh. Well, my one kid is. The other one's like, please turn it off. It makes me sad when they break toys. I'm like, that's right. <laughs> so I played this for a couple hours every Monday. We'd be done by like 2027, you think? Uh, give or take. Yeah. Really makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking a lot about, well, that'd be a problem if there was a big planet up there. Do you know of the Xenoblade Chronicles story, Reb? Uh, the only thing I know is that there are women who turn into swords, or there were there were women who turned into swords, or swords that turned into women. Uh, both are correct. Okay. Both are correct. And I I don't know how important that is to any of the other games. I know that was Xenoblade Chronicles too. Ooh, it's Attack of the Clones. You know what? Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
This might be you're, the best you're game trying to ever say made. the best the best Star Wars. I understand. This might be the best game ever made. <laughs> now, this is what war should be. I don't want to I don't want to upset anybody, but I, this is what I believe war should be. Okay, yeah. So he just turned into dust. Yeah. And then we're harvesting the dust. Now is that enemy dust, or they do they harvest their own soldiers' dust? They will also harvest their own dust if the enemy doesn't get to their dust first. Harvesting your it's own dust weird. is just it's just bad bad business. You don't want to do that. You gotta right. Don't get high on your own supply. Taking each other's lives. Man, all right. I guess I was not expecting this from this game. like messed up Gundam Power Rangers yeah. right I definitely got Power Rangers vibes from that Zord there yeah remember when uh the the Yellow Ranger uh was obliterated into dust I actually don't remember that when did that happen no no that didn't actually happen. no man that should have happened not to the Yellow Ranger maybe maybe the Blue Ranger <laughs> I'm Lower. Okay, here we go. Here we go, Grub. Here we go. Yes. Okay. This is amazing. Aim, is he gonna shoot him in the dick? <laughs> He's gonna shoot him in the dick. He just did this, it. This is fantastic. What? A... And then he can't collect the soul dust because he's been shot at the robot dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, this is not power. going to be a full playthrough stream. This is not. No, I guess I I need no. That will not happen. I told y'all on the bomb cast that this game starts starts easy or starts really uh Strong, hard out yeah. the gate. And then it's like they just shot that robot in the dick. Groove Mancer, I'm I'm not gonna sign up, Grub, to at least try. <laughs> there are things that need to get done today. <laughs> wow, in one sitting, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> So yeah, they they summon their swords from like the ether or just in their pockets. It's, it's like the pocket ether. The pocket ether, right? Okay. There's still more of them. Even so. Shut it. Stop flapping your gums and move. This was a. Uh, this is how Lucy grew up, right? Yes, absolutely. Just surrounded by fancy little lads with glowing swords. Wait, I'm already controlling the game. That doesn't. That can't. This can't be right. Get ready for a lot of tool tips. All right, you will automatically attack an enemy if you approach him. This is called an auto attack. Oh, okay. Stand still near an enemy to continue auto attacking. An icon confirming you're in range for auto attacks will be shown in the bottom right corner of the screen, and it's that little sword thing. Okay. I'm hitting A, and now I'm. Oh, okay. Oh, we need to fix that. Hang on. Let's. Uh, oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. What have I done here? No winteries. All things will not be explained once we complete the game in a single stream. <laughs> okay, I just want to switch my camera around. Oh my god, let me play inverted. Let me be the, the dirty pervert that I am. Uh, there is an option eventually. All right. I think cool. X is the menu button here. If it'll let you do it. Wait a minute. No, yeah, it's not. That's okay. We'll get it eventually. We'll get there soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's an auto attack you. Inver yeah, I'm inverted. Yep. Miyamoto made okay. me this way. If anyone has a uh, question for Grub or myself, uh, yeah, shoot it over. Question feature. I I can try to relate it to Grub. If you're watching on Twitch. Uh, I guess I could look at that chat as well. Yeah, we want to look at that chat more often. We're working on it, but uh, yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello, Twitch. Caution. How to begin a battle. I'm just going to start... I'm going to start shooting weapons. I just going to start shooting my guns. 
Uh, first target an enemy, then press A to draw your weapon. To withdraw from battle, hold A while for a while to sheathe your weapon. Okay. Approach an enemy to automatically target them. If there are multiple enemies, press L and R to target a different enemy. Okay. Okay. Hit an A. There we go. Now can I... Can I do attacks on my own? Uh, soon, yeah. Soon, okay. Not that I'm even necessarily against auto-attacking. I just wonder if there's more. But yeah, it seems like we're just getting in this slowly. <laughs> Jason what KW asks, What's the game that cemented your inversion sickness, Grub? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Super Mario 64. Um... Because that game makes it very much... Like, I played Inverted before that because whenever you would play, like, flight games, obviously, it was like, oh, yeah, that's just how you do it. But Mario 64 is secretly a flight game because they don't just like, oh, you are playing as Mario. They tell you from the beginning of the game you're playing as Mario and Lakitu. You're controlling Lakitu. They show him in the cam... They show him in the intro, and then they, like, you zoom into him to control the camera, and then, like, you see him in mirrors and stuff. But the yellow buttons are controlling him, so when you press right, you're not telling the camera to pan right, you're telling Lakitu to fly right to look left. So, it's uh, that's how I thought about it uh, since then. In first person, um, that's, I mean, that's more just like I think about the stick being right up here. So it's like you're pulling back like a tripod to look up, then to like look Fair left enough. and right. I'm not, I'm not like doing the inverted left or right uh, in first person, really. I could do inverted left or right for third person camera, but I don't anymore. When someone explained to me it was like a tripod that kind of broke my brain, and then I went inverted for a skosh. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's kind of how it is is for me, absolutely. Playing a, a tripod on wheels. Yeah, uh, Y2 Kid says, as a child, I just instinctively knew that inverting was right. That's basically what happened with me, too. <laughs> All right. Arts are stronger than auto attacks. They can be activated by pressing X, Y, or B. After using an art, you cannot use it again until its gauge fills back up. The art gauges fill up automatically over time. This is called recharging. Is that what it's called? <laughs> the game just taught me all, uh, about recharging. All right. Oh, there's an area. That's, that's cool. I don't know. This, this, the packs are automatically or already sort of growing on me in terms of like, oh, that seems fun. Yeah. Uh, you, you'll you'll get the ability to. Switch around with the rolls as well. Okay. But that's like not for another 12 hours. Not actually 12 hours. Yeah. How's, how's the. Uh, the, the side chatter going for you is it, is it annoying you uh they're talking a lot but if it's not i don't know if it's annoying me at all yet it's not bothering okay. me at all yet right now it's just like yeah they're they're excited about war it, you know it's reminding me of the advanced wars kids like yeah uh, we're okay. battling we're, we're, we're gonna do this guys like that sort of like what i would imagine the advanced wars kids would be saying during war that's uh it's working for me It's over the compass arrow on uh, the bottom right. Bottom right, compass arrow. Huh? So it, it's like moving around like as I move. Maybe it's like. Oh, oh, it's it's your positioning. Okay. Oh, it's like positioning regarding the enemy, basically. Yes. Okay. So it's like I could do it. Like maybe if I needed to be behind them to do like a backstab move, that arrow would tell me. You are so intuitive with video games. <laughs> They, yeah, that, that one just like, oh, I clicked as soon as you said it. I'm like, okay, I get it now. That Trisha's team. Uni, how are things with Kite? What about our backup? <laughs> Looks they're like they're busy guarding the artillery. <laughs> they're not going anywhere. Anyone this is just Lucy James with wings on her head. Yes. <laughs> It does remind me a lot of Attack of the Clones. 
the position. You know, they're gonna get into it soon, and it's we you know. Oh boy. Go on, move it. I love silent head nods. Yeah. Tell you what, as, as a white man, I, uh, get, I get a lot of mileage out of the silent nod. Yep, just the silent <laughs> nodding to everybody I see. There's a TikTok of that where it's like, white guys love to silently nod, and the guy's just nodding as you, like, slowly watch him kill someone and put someone in the trash can and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. Good TikTok. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, yeah. Talent arts are stronger than normal arts. A talent art can be activated by pressing A once its circular gauge is full. A uh, talent arts gauge is recharged by performing actions expected of a character's role, also called roll action. What's expected of me? Okay, here we go. Attacker's roll actions. If you can meet the requirements for the arts that give bonus effects for, for positioning, your talent art icon will flash red and your talent arts gauge will charge up a lot. Actions that deal damage effectively, such as dealing critical hits or, partic or participating in combos, also count as roll actions, charging your talent art gauge bit by bit. Okay, so critical hits, participating in combos, things like that. Okay. From an attack, the moment, the moment the previous one hits allows you to cancel one attack into the next, making them flow quickly into each other. You can cancel auto attacks into arts and arts into talent arts. Doing this speeds up ex the execution, letting you deal more damage quickly. Okay, let's see what that feels like. So. All right, I'm gonna get behind his so, back. Hit him in the butt. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butt him. Okay, I'm supposed to be hitting this one. There's a big arrow pointing at this one. There we go. Accuracy the gun up. did it. And I can see my meter is filling up on the uh, talent art. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're ready to hit him in the butt again. Oh wow, that filled it up a lot. All right. I'm gonna spoil it. The tutorial that pops up uh, within the next 20 minutes, grub. The side break hits them from the is more uh, advantageous to hit them from the side. Ooh. Okay. I'm not supposed to go for well, that's one that that clicks them. All right. Oh, I, I, mean, I did the wrong thing. My bad. I, missed, I hit the wrong button. All right, now I get it. Side break. All right, so let's back attack. And now let's talent art his ass. There we go. Look at that talented ass. <laughs> you want to stand still to allow your auto attacks to happen in between arts. Ah, Thank you, Paladin yes. Killer. That is, that's also very important that the game doesn't really tell you. Yeah, they you. didn't mention that, and I'm just like sitting there moving around like a fool. All right, now let's go to the side here, and now it uh, says I'm at the side. Ooh, look at that break. There we go. I've toppled him. There we go. Topple him. He's dazed. He's dazed and confused. Yeah. Look at these arts. I was, once a, I was once a sandwich artist, and now I'm a, a war artist. What are these kids called? Combat art? Combat artist? artists, yeah. Now we're, now we're going to get emotional. It's like... Clone Wars Dune. <sighs> the price of war. And anime. Anime war. That's a, that's a price too high to, for anyone to pay. No, my particle effects. <laughs> oh! Prometheus, we learned you got to run to the side. Run to the side. No, too late. Victory! Victory! Ah! Victory! 
beef stew stop perpetuating this idea that we're gonna finish this today <laughs> as someone that is playing through this game jeff grubb is not even gonna learn all about the combat <laughs> Uh, is the combat in this one as convoluted as the other Xeno Xenoblades? Yes. I'm like, what? like, how could it be convoluted? I guess, you know, they've already introduced, like, some, like, I'm relatively complex ideas of, like, oh, your positioning matters, and each each art is more effective, depending on, like, where you're at and stuff. Uh, I suppose they can go deeper than that. But it's like, you know. <laughs> Ch I'm... Chaser 3-4. <laughs> I was saying... Uh, they're 30 hours in and still oh, no, my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> yeah, there's oh boy, there's a there's a lot. And that's not even the story. <laughs> oh god, King of Flair it took 110 hours to finish the game. And you know what? Before I play this, I should really go back and start with Xeno Saga and Xeno right. was, Gears. Was it, Xeno Gears. Oh my, yeah, Xeno Gears. All go all the way back. I'm still. I still have zero idea how any of these relate to Everyone one another, and I'm betting it's not very much. Looking like this. Uh, one and two are spoilers for for one and two, I guess. As um, slaying Agnes. Oh, this is there here. This is important yes. for the story. Here we go. All, right. All of us live only. There's timelines, Grub. I was I was gonna say timelines. Oh, there's timelines. Cut that out, stupid Noah. Waiting for one of them to be like, I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Look, it's I want one of them to say, uh, "Grow up, mate." <laughs> Charlie they bit me. They all sound like that. They're gonna get it handed to him. <sighs> Flickering hoop. You're as slippery as a <laughs> Flickering hoop. Flickering hoop. <laughs> Uni. She never shuts up. We're gonna Kite. we're gonna call Lucy that Rain and get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Uh, whale tail suspenders they've got I, going I, there yeah i didn't notice that till now they gave all these children whale tails. <laughs> <laughs> whoa language jesus whoa 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 whoa, whoa. this is my favorite yeah, favorite. yeah. This, this character owns already, and I'm so yeah. It's Bobby Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. You okay, Uni? Cheers for that. You're a lifesaver, Yorin. Sparking dead weight. <laughs> Jay. Sparking dead weight. Change of plan. Kite, you keep firing and don't stop. Oh, what? Whatever you want. Huh? Don't believe Strategy me. right there. <laughs> Just draw their attention. Because what we're after here. I, I hope, uh, Winter Reese, I hope, I hope he does. Yorin? But he's bottom of the class. Why bother? Thing is, the brat's still a decent. We'll try to make, we'll try to make that the goal. I'll do my best. With, uh, Jan and Chat's help. So, uh, for as long as Jan's here, we eventually you're gonna have to drop out, and that's that's cool. We'll try to get to the bass this stream, and then it's it, it's doable. It's doable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, Magic Alex eighty four. This is a flashback. Is this uh like combat school that they're in? We're flashing back to. Yeah, this is like the academy. The academy, okay, yeah. 
This is like when they make the clone troopers fight each other. Yeah, totally. They're not in their usual formation. Wait, what? <gasps> We're snuffed. Kai's just a decoy. <laughs> so they're really after. Oh. Uh, for Taco, is this game? Is this a game or a movie or a show? Uh, yes. All are wrong. It's all yeah. it's all anime. Yeah. That's right. Whether you're watching anime, anime or playing anime, it's all just anime. Spark. <laughs> That's their uh, Battlestar Galactica frack. Frack. <laughs> now you can carry on. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. Should have done that much sooner. Now we're going to reward you for simulating killing your classmate. You and all your whale tails. Get off me! Had to go and play the hero, didn't he? You really think you could have taken them? I think Yorin did the right thing. If he hadn't used his powers back there, you'd have been first out of the running. It was Amy's first day of kindergarten yeah, day. Still. Well, kindergarten practice, kickstart. So. Oh kill yeah! She had a good day. You. He lured in Garvel's gang, gave us a chance to turn it around. Ugh. You know who wasn't up to it? We weren't. Yeah, but just stop it! No yeah. more arguing. It's my <laughs> fault. I should have just done a better job. Then we'd have won. Hey. <laughs> so much for getting oh, to the one final, second. huh? No problem. Sorry. I I hope that Jorn has a uh, uh, a, a uh, what is it? Grow up, glow up. I hope he has a glow up. But also, is there, I think there's a strong chance he just dies here at school. What big straight up Neville Longbottom? Hey. Yes. <laughs> what? Who's yours, dummy? It's your second turn. This right? is running on real Switch hardware, but I have it going through a um the M cable thing, oh, so wait, it should be a surprise? little cleaned up. A little bit of extra anti aliasing on top of it. So, yeah. Hey, what? You'll apologize, right? Might do, might not. We each have a lifespan of 10 years. We call them terms. Life begins with our first term and ends at the close of our 10th. And over the course of those 10 years, we fight continually. Though in reality, there aren't that many who can hold their flame for the whole 10 years. Most lose their lives on the battlefield. I think it might just be the game that looks boring. I don't know, it looks really crisp but to me. who do survive to the end. I don't know. Are honored in a special service. The textures are not like, great. We call it the homecoming. I've not noticed any slowdown yet. I mean, it seems like it, you know, the Morning, um, base rest is 540p. It's up to 1080p when docked. Okay, yeah. Morning, uh, lands. Hmm. Is that like a, like a fish, man? 
They're like scales, or is he an android? What's I don't know what's going on with him. God, Bob, this Bobby Hill motherfucker. Quick, I love him. Coming. They have to take their o, uh, their OWLs. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it awesome? Already had his don't touch my purse. He's not moment, he's not long for the world. Yeah. That boy ain't right. <laughs> I, yeah, I think they've really cleaned up the tech for this game, is the, the impression I've gotten. I mean, just from the the dearth of complaints online, when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out, right? There was a lot of people making a big deal about the resolution and stuff. And here it seems like not to be much of an issue. Uh, so they've obviously, the I bet Nintendo's made some optimizations internally so that make it easier to get games like this running well. Wow, I've never seen her before. Hmm. Oh, they, okay, so all these races were described in previous games, so I, I would know. Okay, but they're not gonna yes. go over here again. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, sir. The angel people are, uh, uh angel people. <laughs> right, okay, yes. They're big fans of the Buffy spinoff Angel. I got you, understood. Yes, yes. Man, that is maybe too many piccolos. <laughs> All right, it, not to like, well, okay. Put it in like Lord of the Rings terms. Are the angel people like elves? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good approximation. Yeah, yeah. So cool. I heard the stories, <laughs> but this is just wild. So cool. This person someday. reached the end of their lifespan. You, stop me. <laughs> you guys too. So that's that's what's happening here. These are the ten deer termers. They're they're done. Yeah, yeah. Right? Huh? Sure. Yeah. You bet. This isn't disconcerting at all. Yeah. Our lives came from the queen, and we all lived for a chance to take part in the. Oh home. no. The chance to return to the queen's embrace. Carrying out ten years of service, fighting. That my was my mic world. arm just broke my table. <laughs> oh, I I, I uh, mine. Uh, well, it was my monitor stand that was doing it for me. I had to put like a two by four underneath there to like spread out the weight and stuff. Yeah, actually now I'm on a glass table, and that's like I'm worried that's just gonna eventually crack. Did it just like rip into like the particle board that makes up the surface of your table or is it like what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then we got the flash forward. There, okay, that was a good that was a good transition. There's like some filmmaking happening here. What's going on? Yeah, this is like, why does a Nintendo do this all the time? Yeah. I guess because Miyamoto is like, this isn't fun. Where's the, let me play the game. I like to play as the boy. Let me play as the boy. I don't want to watch the boy. Let me play as the boy. Wow. I should go get my daughter to watch these crush videos. <laughs> Actually, I, that, that's why I thought it was funny. She was watching crush videos. <laughs> Miyamoto is decidedly anti-child soldier. What a nerd. All right, so if the um, angel people are like elves, what is the gray dude? Uh, like... Uh, a different kind of elf? <laughs> it, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, I guess gray elves, uh, but gray he's elves, a ro right. he's he's like a robot, actually. Yeah. Okay, so they, don't, right. they don't tell you that, huh? Right. 
You shouldn't be sending those guys off like that. Well, he's a robot, but he gr Why Okay, not? whatever. I'm not going to question anyway. Like this, it's Agnes, our enemy. Well, yeah. They don't have an officer, though, to send them. Yeah. So Harry Styles yeah, the did the voices for all these characters is what it sounds like to me. So like all just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, there's yeah. no rule not to. They all just sound like One Direction what, members. Gonna keep going. Look at the little dude just get you. <laughs> staring <No>. off. <laughs> what is that? Our lives on the oh. line. I think I saw it a couple scenes ago, but yeah, I, just, yeah. I don't know if it registered in my brain ready. that it exists in this game. Foe, someone has to lay them to rest. For that is my role as an officer. Right. Uh, is my voice that deep? Shot at you. I wasn't trying to be anyone specific. Right. I've had about enough right. of all this depressing crap. Let's head back this is actually just how Lucy is during mm -hmm. every meeting we have internally. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, bye, transport. Guess we missed it again. That's that's what I say whenever a transport leaves me. Bye, transport. Oh, Noah always does this. How many times is it we've had to walk home now? <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, we're definitely going to get to the bath. Yeah, we're on our way. We're we're making progress here, everybody. Uh -oh. I hit the question. I hit the uh, the question thing on the uh, on our chat thing, Jan, and it like refreshed the whole page, and then I lose all the questions. Well, Annoying. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I had, had never done that before, and that's the second time it's done it in like the last couple of days. But, oh well. Uh, have a black pine. Landmarks. All right. There are places across the world that will give you EXP once found. Key locations are called landmarks, and the especially difficult to find ones are called secret areas. When the whole party has been incapacitated in battle, you will return to the last landmark you passed. Sweet. Let's poke okay. Uh, Propaganda Panda did God's work and is re asking their original question. Think Miyamoto is into Jury's feet? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Absolutely. And that's, he's working really hard to get, make sure that the uh, switch can run that jury feet tech. Absolutely. Uh, the mini map is displayed at the top right of the screen. It displays the character's immediate surroundings and quest destinations. Press R to display a bigger map. Now I've learned how mini maps work. Uh, press ZL plus Y whenever you need a, a navigational assistance. Doing so will display the shortest route to your destination. Okay. Be advised, however, the shortest route may sometimes take you past tough enemies, so it's not necessarily the best or easiest one. Try various routes for best effect. All right, let's head back to Colony Nine. A lot of tooltips. That's okay. Now let's see. Can I? There we go. Let's play a real video game now. There Options. you go. Invert up and oh, yep, yep. Invert. Yep. There we go. Reverse. There is a first-person mode that I've seen a homie use, but I I don't know where they saw it. All right, well, let's, let's go for this for now, and then I'll, I'll test out the first person mode. Okay, my controller just vibrated a little bit. Am I like running past something or? There's all, oh, yeah, there's all these collectibles and jazz. Okay, it's automatic. Wraith wood, pick up the wraith wood. And that, those look like Pokemon. Are we the last ones here? Kind of. Kind of, okay. Uh, to it. What do I do with them? Do I just stare you at them? You can attack them. All right. So if I pull, if I hit A. Let's give him the usual, Noah. <laughs> Let's give him the usual, the usual. no. So don't be worried at all if uh, none of this attacking stuff makes any sense to you. Okay. I mean, what do you mean though? Because right now it's just like I'm just pressing some buttons and I feel like it makes all the sense. Like I just press the buttons to kill the thing. Is there more to it than that? Yeah, like positioning and stuff and all okay. these like arching arrows and circles on the ground. Oh, well, that stuff I, that just sense. looks like nonsense to me. That stuff, I'm, I'm just ignoring those things and choosing to believe that they don't matter. Lance 
want something a bit meatier. Okay, they are talking a whole lot in battle. They, are, they have a lot to say. Oh, don't attack that guy. Yeah, he's uh, got a big number above his head, so I'm just going to keep running. The upper hand so I'm going towards... Oh, man, it's not the... Uh, not like a... Colony Sigma a, fighting frantically for their lives. What is it called when it's like, like actually that. moves with you, the compass? Oh. What Perspective adjacent or whatever. Uh, yeah, but... um. All right, I think I'm moving towards it now. There we go. Guys, get ready to fight. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, if you guys want to engage, let's do it. Uni's healing ring cast a green healing aura that remains on the ground. Characters standing within the aura will be gradually recover HP. Okay. Um, can't help but noticing that our boy Bobby Hill isn't anywhere that I can find. Uh, he was in the flashbacks, <laughs> but I don't see him here. <clears throat> okay. All right. Listen. Listen. I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. Our this sweet, sweet game boy. alone can fill up best new character category. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we can do a special one just for it. All right. I got stuck at this encounter for a good like uh, 10 minutes because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't read the tooltip of like, hey, just heal up all the way, please. Oh, OK. It was, it was, that's what I was supposed to be doing. I think I just luckily was inside the healing thing and I was, oh, I was, yeah. I was OK. Hey, by the way, there's chests in the environment. <laughs> cool. Friends, wait. So is Riku not voiced? Uh, maybe, he's, maybe not voiced here. What's the matter, Riku? Oh no, just because friends are worn out from battle, it's no excuse to not pay attention to your surroundings. Direct eyes right here. Okay, Jesus, yeah, Riku, very I bossy. Wait. I can't wait till you hear Riku's voice. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Mwamba. Oh, oh, hey, an abandoned container. <laughs> what the oh. fuck is this name? Mwamba. Mwamba. Uh, also, the idea that they are just spotting this thing that's five feet away, this glowing aura, like this giant glowing thing in the middle of the environment. Yeah, we saw it from like 5,000 yards away. Uh, if it's been cast off like trash, is it even worth trying to salvage it? All right, shot, Lance. Victory can make soldiers sloppy, neglectful of battlefield aftercare tasks. It's like a Klonoa? What is this thing? Thanks to Nopon, Rear Guard, Noah, and Friends Survive Battle. Go home with Bum Bum in single piece. Don't friends think friends should heed advice of experienced colleague? So, uh, Riku, very against pronouns. Uh, just very offensive in every way. Um, yeah, what a, what a potty mouth. Yeah. Uh, I guess maybe we should. How are we having this much conversation about opening up this thing? Let's just open it up. Oh, so you're a <laughs> badass now, eh, Riku? Maybe next time you want to join us on the front line, huh? That sounds fun. Hey, Lance, go easy. Riku's just trying to help us out here. I got uh, next time we if I do another stream of this, I'll set up my voices here on my GoXLR, and they will all just be different versions of Riku, different oh, levels lovely. of Riku. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Uh, okay, uh, you made yes, I get it. I think I get this one. Item rarity. I think I get this one. Why are so many characters named a variation of Riku? I don't yeah, know. Is Riku that like that? Michael in in Japanese? Yeah, it kind of feels like it. Yeah, yeah, it feels a little bit like it. Uh, you can equip accessories of your character. Accessories in the main menu. Accessories help to strengthen. Yeah, I get I get accessories. That works for me in the real world too. Characters. Confirm. Accessories. Riku is a biblical name? I think someone's just pulling my leg. Oh, made it to the exclamation point. We've done it. Game over. Hey, is that, is that someone dying? Dead? <laughs> I Must have love how en route back to Colony 9. Rough deal. I love how unfazed. Yeah, and with all that life left on the clock. 
Oh, you remember that no, Justin Timberlake ellipses. movie? Just uh, wait a moment, would you? I have to take care of the off scene. Of course, we have time. Oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that the whole time. Noah is an offseer, a soldier <laughs> who helps the fallen pass on. Sending off any husks you find on the field will build your affinity with the colonies they belong to. Just don't call them husks, maybe. Flute. Oh, okay. This is how I do it? Yeah, flute him away. I'm gonna flute this boy. I'm gonna yeah, flute this boy him. all the way to heaven. Yeah. So somehow this is not only Feels clone like troopers. A, a scene from Dune. Huckleberry Finn. Huckleberry Finn. Lay a flute, a flute for the dead boy. Lord of the Rings. This is also kind of... Um, mm, this, this is like every movie you've ever seen, Grub. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that. Death mushroom. Dowdy arm. Well, whatever. I don't know what I just said. I said a bunch of words. None, none of this is going to matter, so don't <laughs> worry about it. Whoa, okay. Nice now, is this Ricolo Pond? Ricolo! <laughs> I was the first person to make that joke, I bet. <laughs> that I know of, yes. Okay, fair enough. That, that's all that counts. That's all I care about. I'm going to go kill this giant fish, though. I'm going to water fight him. I kind of fight you in the water. It's not letting me draw my sword, so maybe not. Fight with focus. Oh, okay, there we go. I missed. Big level three bastard. This is actually a preview of the game of the year discussions. <clears throat> it's going to be everyone talking over each other, yelling things yes, with uh, fancy while, music. While treading water in a giant lake, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come on, keep going. Right, let's push on. This should be enough for our daily hygiene needs, eh? Huh. Gross. Uh, no, it's no substitute for a proper bath. Yeah, I just, that's how I bathe ever since I moved next to Lake Erie. I just go <laughs> dip in the Lake Erie. I let the I let the bacteria do the work for me. Right, they they eat. There's good bacteria, right? Yeah, That's exactly. I'm, I'm assuming they're the good bacteria. I don't know. Who am I to judge? Uh, the real skit of game of the year is gonna be checking on Grub still playing this game, still being in the tutorial. Yes, forever. Yeah. All right. So we do a back thrust from back. Okay, I'm back in it. Oh. Now I'm gonna do a side thrust from the side. Oh nope, you put me behind me. Man, the, the, the soundtrack is going though. They're going for it. Oh yeah. Like if this game was performed with a live orchestra, they are so tired. Yes. <laughs> Damn, I killed the hell out of these rabbits. Ooh, my side break keeps missing. Noah, the media. Definitely, uh, the environments look a little bit grungy. I'm, I'm fine, I'm not really complaining, but they look a little, little dingy. They, they look dingier in handheld mode, which is where I've yeah. mostly been playing this. Yeah, but there you go. Yeah. Oh, you want to? Oh, dude, you're holding the club with your tail. What is happening with you? Oh, I. Uh, here. Landing certain arts one after the other in, in a set order is called a combo. Only arts with special status effects can start a combo. For example, an art that inflicts break followed by an art that inflicts topple will topple an enemy. A longer combo is break, topple, daze, burst. Mm. Break, topple, daze, burst is my uh, password on, on Twitter. So in case one yeah, wants. BTDB. Yeah, BTDB. Always BTDB and. 
Alright, let me, uh, I forgot about the cancel too, though. Let me, uh, let's try on that. Ah, don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. They're gonna introduce, like, 12 more right. things. Right, I feel like, uh, like, things are always on cooldown so often, I'm like, don't really have a chance to, uh, get into right. the of that stuff. For the tutorial stuff, I kind of wish they at least just sped up the, uh, the recharge time. So, right. you're gonna want to move to the side grub. And then use the side sword strike. Right. Here. Okay. Now he's telling me. Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Why did it count? The... There you go. Yeah. There we go. Wait for lands to inflict topple. Wait for Yuri to inflict days. All right. I've waited. Now win the battle. Oh, okay. Come on. Hey. Keep going. Third and one. So... You can review previous tutorials, but yeah, I'm sure I can. Uh, when's the battle happen? That's what chat is for. <laughs> That's colony nine. Always Only nine inside. from outer space. Look at that big robot just taking a oh, squad over this colony. Big robo boy, using the you know, using that potty. You to get okay, all right. I was just gonna run past you, but you want to die. Yeah, this rabbit started a fight. This is the real magic trick here. He toppled the hell out of this bunny. It's level four. It's taking a yeah. little bit longer. <laughs> Grub, I started watching that uh, survival show alone. Um, I've heard good things about it. It's it's great. Uh, but it's done the thing now where I've watched a couple episodes and I'm convinced I could do the, the same thing. Oh no! Yeah, I mean I get it. So what what do you th what does it take to be alone? Uh, you just got to be able to fish. It looks like. Is that the key? That's the key skill. Just making sure you got food. Yeah. Such long walkings, tough on legs of Riku. Riku totally pooped. Oh yeah, Riku. Yes, and Soul Hackers 2 is coming out soon. So, Jesus Christ, JRPGs in my time, not respecting me. It was a massive battle, but we don't seem to have taken too many injuries, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that's the upside of going against a low rank, no mark colony like that. Man, wow, that's offensive too. On the flip side, we didn't manage to fill up the flame clock all that much. What are they talking about? Uh, uh, it's all for the best. At least we've all come back in one piece. I agree. In any way, we should be all right on that front for the time being. For the fire time being. Noah, talking out here just wastes time. How about friends to move Chatter into Bath? Oh, here we go. A perv. Yeah, he's like, how, how about we move this somewhere more comfortable? All right, Riku. Jesus. Good thinking. Let's, let's do that. Riku's just like, I am not wearing clothes a second longer. We're home. As soon as we get home, they all come off. I just really like the designs of all these dumb robots. Me too. They're good. They are definitely giving me Zord energy. The flame clock. Okay, I asked and answered, I guess. The flame clock shows the amount of life's flames harvested from defeated enemies. <laughs> the amount of flame will de decrease as time passes. Oh, so it's How like many it's always people you kill. Yeah, it's always thirsting for more flesh. Uh, your character stats will increase as the flame clock gauge fills up. So try to keep the gauge filled up as much as possible to maintain the stat increases. All right. If you see a star by a character's name, it means they have something new to say. Talking to a person for the first time will also increase your affinity with their colony. All right. So now we're like back at camp and we're doing camp stuff. Is that what I'm, yep. that what I'm to understand? Okay. So there will be characters with like a yellow speech bubble. Right. Oh, special it's, forces it's, are getting back late. Yeah. As far as I know, That's those are pretty me. much the only people you need to talk to. Okay. Oh, I dare say. You must be tired. You should turn in before it gets much later. I don't know. This is her. Why her that's her voice specifically. I'll only do that voice for Carrie. Okay. Yes, I, I, I hope you're again? keeping track of all of these yeah. voices. <laughs> oh, special forces are getting back. Okay, now she's telling the same thing again. 
It just didn't go, uh... All right, there we go. Bathing tent. Interact. Here we go, everybody. It's just like the Starship Troopers shower scene. <laughs> Strategically placed steam. <sighs> this round, we can pretend it's more vulgar than it actually is. Say, you know how you became an officer after what <laughs> happened? Um, I guess, yeah. Hot Tub Gaming is back, folks. Here we go. Oh, so precious. Yeah, I, I like to think of my homies while I'm in a tub, too. <laughs> Just in my tub, thinking yeah. about homies. I can't say I'm totally over it, but I'm getting there. I've sent so many of our comrades. Comrades? A lot's happened. Comrades. Comrades? Oh, there's Riku. For me and those sent on. Mm. Anyway, worry about him. I, uh... Poor guy. Suck at showering. Pushes himself too hard. What can we do? He's been like this for ages. He never got to apologize, so... You know. Hmm? You guys Robo Wiener. Battle. Don't worry about the bonus points, because I'll have nabbed them all. Uh, the snuff you on about? I'll have whoa. you know I clocked up a fair whoa, bit whoa, more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, sure. I'm the one who took the heavy off its hinges. They give you loads of points. Ooh, big deal. If that heel had come a few seconds later, you'd be sleeping in the dirt. Oh, uh, yeah, no, uh, that was part of the plan. You couldn't tell. I just felt wow. like giving you the credit. But don't worry, you can thank me later. Huh? You're a right Muppet, Lance. Wow! I don't wow. know if that was meaner to him or to the Muppets. All right, then. Off to bed with me. Yeah. <laughs> All that walking's really done a number on me. I'm sorry. Oh, he's going to dismiss myself <laughs> that on. way. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little preview. Was that, that was Riku? Okay, I'm excited. I might do some spot maintenance on our gear before I kick. Lance, you'll be in there. All right, Loria. Hey, you heard? Seems like Colony 9's Feronis won't be able to move for a while. Is that the big boy above us? It can't move, but it made it back here from the battlefield. Thing is, looks like the engine took a bit of a beating in the battle with Colony Sigma. So those Nopon mechanics told us to shut it all down while they handle the maintenance. Yeah, right. That does sound like it's going to be parked up here for a little while then. All right, I'm on plus 10. Yay. Who's this, another little freak? Yes. This one's got a wrench. When Labness repairs all done, Harla move on to adjustment of power frames for Xeon and Kurt. Sounds like you're pretty busy right now. Meh. Before and after battle, always get big, bit higgly piggly around here. Hell yeah. Anyhow, Harla, Harla, like job. So being busy, not really so bad after all. I'll take plus 10 points to talk to that little thing. Trish. Hey, thanks for what you did in that battle. We couldn't have made it back without you. I mean, four Levenses from Colony Sigma. I had no idea how I was going to handle that. We don't have a whole lot of Leven... Levenesses? Levenesses at our colony. I get how it could be a problem. What was it? What's a Leveness? Chat, what's a levness? And everyone chat's still doing the one single sitting joke. It's not it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we could get our hands on some reinforcements. 
Thank you, Trish. I'm going to the red exclamation point now. Wow. Not much. What a leveness with you, with you, love. Wow. Okay, time to hit the sack, maybe? Yes. Sure, let's do it. Rest to max. Resting very serious business. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but Rico has a very unfortunate accent. Oh, no. I, no, it's not true. Oh, no. I, I, I got to hear his voice more now. So how far away from, from that am I? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Lebness, Lebness are machines used for combat by Keeves and Agnes in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Okay. No idea. We better take a look. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go, go up these stairs. Remind me, what are we lining up for here? Royal decree from the castle. They say an enemy armored unit's approaching this area. Come on, man. I just got to sleep and everything. Friends fault for staying up late. <laughs> what? And whose fault was it I couldn't sleep? <laughs> Wait, what? I asked you to do the maintenance on my power frame, but you totally messed up my settings. Incredible. Ah, uh, uh, that probably different frame. Riku is popular, Gaipa. Crushed by weight of fans asking to do favors. Sometimes mix up orders. <laughs> Incredible. I love it. Config's bamboozle. Why not fix it's the myself? last voice I would have expected. That's why I didn't get any sleep, Furball. I'm here to announce today's mission. Now, what if Riku had a you little sombrero? Target. It's currently yeah. on course for the suppression yeah, that'd be area pretty good. Or a really big sombrero. Judging from the mass, it's expected to be large in size. And based on its speed, we estimate it will reach the Alfetto Valley at 0100 hours. Notably, the target's emitting a considerable amount of ether energy. As for your mission, deploy the sideburns here is pretty serious. Time. Investigate and destroy the source of ether. Commander, one question. Go. About this target. Can we assume it's from Agnes? We don't know. We haven't been able to confirm, but it seems that they're also gunning for it. This would suggest it should be seen as part of a different enemy force. Combat with Agnian troops in the area is also expected. Details will be sent to your iris after deployment. Clear? You are to remain vigilant throughout the operation. Dismissed. I think anime is really beginning to influence real life where uh, like she's got those eye eyelashes that go over her hair and that's like every uh, TikTok like makeup uh, oh, uh, yeah. filter now is that makes the eyelashes like appear even if it's over hair and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. I guess maybe this is where it came from. Oh, yeah. Anime. Uh, we better start preparing to move out too. Noah, mate, do you want to go to the commissary, do some equipment shopping? Always. Love to be shopping. Got to get him togged out with something a bit more solid, yeah? Make him a bit oh, less squishy? No. Whoa. Listen, what I do in my bunk alone, you should be flush with cash since we just got the reward for the Colony Sigma job, right? Let's go spend it in the, in the company store. Yay! I'll show you some top-notch accessories. Could do worse than take a bit of advice from a battle-worn hard case like Mwamba, huh? Mwamba number five. Cheers, Mwamba. Cheers, Mwamba. Then we go to commissary. That's his voice now. I wish he sounded like Sam Elliott. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Camilla's ta take taking point on distribution around this time, I reckon. All right. Good to know. All right, let's go and take care of the prep then. Let's go shopping. Go shopping and do a good togging. I'm walking to talking. I'm walking and talking here. 
Grub, I may have to dip out now, but I'm happy that you got to hear Riku's voice. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Jan. Thank you for, for your guidance so far. It's been invaluable. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm happy you are, I think, me enjoying the anime. I'm enjoying myself. This is fine. Yeah, this is good. It's about as, it's what I expected from the way people were talking about it. This is a good time. Yeah. Everyone watching live, uh, no spoilers for Grub about uh, our, our boy. <clears throat> Man, no uh, but I'm yeah, see, see you later, Grub. Have fun Thanks, with Jan. the anime, child army. Bye. Have a good chat. Can I get Jason chat for Jan? Bye, Jan. Bye, bye, everybody. All right. Let's see. Let's talk to Camilla. All right. Hey guys, keeping the hustle alive. I see. Uh, we'll play up uh, through the top of the hour, everybody. So stick around for now. It's Monday. We don't have much else going on on Monday, so uh, sometimes we go a little bit longer than that, but pretty hungry and there's pizza upstairs, so I'm going to go to the top of the hour and then we're going to get out of here. Um, and then, yeah, maybe if nothing happens between now and next week, maybe we'll come back and do more of this. Um, I just don't, there's no way I'd be able to stick to this game if I'm just playing a couple hours on a Monday for months, so yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. First, go ahead and select buy. Okay, yeah, I think, I guess I know how to use a store. I get it. You want me to buy the bronze temple guard? Okay. Yeah, I know how to exit a menu. All right, so. Oop. Now I need to bring up the menu, right? And. Okay, we're still talking here. A bronze temple guard, eh? Nice, nice. Should make our job a bit easier, at least. And it should feel good when you're talking. Oh, yeah, hurry up and put it on already. Wow, okay, uni. The way you're talking, I feel like you should tip me. Put it on, wear it for me. Yeah, I'm on it. Put on the bronze temple guard. I think it's hot when you wear the bronze temple guard. Uh, equip your equipment. Okay, is that what you do with equipment? All right, I'm hitting X. We're going to character. Yeah, okay. Going to characters. Okay. Well, at least it's got nice, pleasant menu music. Honestly, half... Half of the quality of a JRPG can be determined by how chill its menu music is. Only one accessory slot is open at first, but as you level up, you will unlock a maximum of three slots. Okay. So now we are gonna... An E next to a piece of equipment indicates that I was already been... A, yeah, of course. There's an E, so now we're gonna equip this instead. Put it on slowly. <laughs> yeah, okay, I do feel a bit tougher already. Wow, that's a that's the mark of a good piece of gear. The commissary stacked with useful bits and bobs like that. You'll want to stop by every now and then. Bits and bobs, walking and talking. Anything to get an extra edge in the fight against Agnes, right? If we show consistent results, the colony might be promoted too. That will improve the quality of the equipment on offer here as well. Love to level up my community. We'll do our best to help make it happen. Thanks, Mwamba. All right. So we all geared up then. Let's get over to the plaza. Double time. Yeah. Double time never makes sense. Um, when people say, all right, let's go double time. Uh, that means twice as long. That's what I think double time should mean. They're like, no, go faster. Well, then stay faster. Double time is implying something else, in my opinion. Uh, huh, really? Well, that's a pickle. What are we doing here? She's still doing the pose that she was doing when she was in the tub. Hmm. The musical term, Grub. Oh, Winter Race, don't make sense. Don't make it make sense to me. I don't want it to make sense. It's regarding temp- Yeah, okay, I get it, chat. You're all right, fine. Oi, oi, Noah, what's the hold up? We going or not? All right, as soon as I saw the oi, it just kicked in. Yeah, sorry, it's just, I'm just thinking about you saying oi. He look troubled somehow. Oh, Spock's sake. They, they make you want to like say it in British, uh, in British and with a British accent. You're going to put on your goody two-shoe cap now. 
Fine. Let's see what's up then. Please speak that way to Lucy through an entire good mess morning game mess mornings. A quest will update when you have made progress in it. Press these buttons to switch quest category. While confirming your current objective with Y, you can you press plus to also check a map on the immediate vicinity of the quest ob objective. All right. Let's go someplace else. Let's, Let's go someplace, go someplace else. else. Let's, Let's go, go someplace else. else. Let's go someplace else. Let's go someplace else. Let's go someplace else. All right, so we're going to talk to this guy, all right? Hey, rolled something the matter? Oh, Noah. Uh, it's nothing. I don't want to distract you from the big mission. Maybe it'll help us both in the end. Come on, tell us what's wrong. It's a video game. It always helps us both in the end. Haha, -ha, nosy as ever, I see. Thanks, though. You know about the urgent mission issue this morning, I suppose. It came up so suddenly, we didn't have time to ready all the resources for the plan. I mean, we literally just finished fighting against Colony Sigma. Pretty frustrating, yeah. We could pick the stuff easy enough, but there's not enough hands to go around, so I'm not sure I can make up the shortfall. If that's all there is to it, I'd be happy to help. It'll be a quick job with more people, right? You would? Really? We've been assigned to the mission, too, so we're going to need those supplies. Well then, thanks. It's a load off my mind. Sure thing. What do you need? Here's the rundown. Chewy radishes, three. Clusterels, also three. Finally, two portions of rich fish meat, three. That's the uh, sequel to Rich Fish Meat 2. Uh, I've put the request up on a Collectopedia card. Would you mind double-checking that that you can see it? I love Collectopedia. All right, let's see. From Quest in the main menu, go to Collectopedia card tab to check what uh, someone needs. Helping them out will deepen your affinity and give you a re give you rewards. Collectopedia sounds like a disease. It sounds like the disease uh, Vinny Caravella has when he plays games and has to collect everything. Oh, uh, that's Vinny. Uh, it's, it's terrible. He has Collectopedia. Uh, all right. Check Raul's Collectopedia card. So press X. And then it's probably... What? To check on Raul's request, you must access the Collectopedia card inside the quest menu. And we were raising money here for Collectopedia to research and cure the disease. That's right. Uh, in quest, you can check different types of quests. Navigate over to the Collectopedia Cards tab. All right, we're going to Collectopedia. It's fun to say. Exit the menu once you've finished checking Rald's Collectopedia card. Okay. Chewy radish, chewy radish, chewy radish. Cluster rail, cluster rail, cluster rail. Rich fish meat, rich fish meat. Bars. All right, back and out. Right, I've got, I've got it memorized. Sorry for the hassle and thank you. That character just lied. There's no way I have that memorized. It's already left my mind except for radish meat. Radish meat, radish meat. All right. The fish meat comes from the... Oh, it's not radish meat. Uh, the fish meat comes from the piranaxes swimming around the colony entrance. As for the chewy radishes and cholesterols, I think I remember picking them around here as well. So it's all in the colony area then. Great, at least we won't have to go far. And with us on the case, we'll get this done well quick. I appreciate it. Once we collect all the items, we'll just put them up on the Collectopedia card, yeah? Exactly. Once you've registered them there, come talk to me again. I'll be here checking and packaging the goods. All right, will do. Collectibles. Let's go collect some shit. Jimmy Radish. Can I jump off of here? Whee! Oh, okay. Well, I can, but ouchies. Socks! Should be some juicy piranaxes ahead. Yeah, juicy. Juicy, juicy, fruity, delicious. Juicy, delicious, fruity, foggy piranhas. Fruity, delicious, juicy. 
JR in here. Yeah, that's right. All right, we got one rich fish meat. Here we go, guys. Right on. Make fun. Right on. Right yo. You say ground beef? Oh no, ground beef. I see. Blame me. <laughs> Dr. M to the chest is blowing me. Oh, something a bit matey, yeah. Gonna go pick some hillside radish. Gonna go get that radish. Ground beef! <sighs> Those chewy radishes in cluster L should be growing nearby, I reckon. I reckon, I reckon we should be picking some gro some growing radishes and some some growthy beef and some cluster alios. Registering collectibles after gathering the required collectibles go to the quest collectopedia card in the main menu and hold a to register them and complete the quest Video game. I really feel like that's something you would be better at than me All right, all right, okay, I'm not complaining You can check how many of the necessary items you've collected by viewing the relevant card. Okay. Yep, here we go. The item list shows you've got all the items needed for the request. Let's register those items now. It's looking complete. I've registered the hell out of them, and we've completed it. Nice. These will come in handy. Oh, wait. So that, that, that completed the quest? So now I don't, like, have to go back to talk to the weirdo? We'll have to register the materials we gathered on Rold's Collectopedia card. Let's tell Rold the good news. Oh, no. We have to do both. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. Crimson Moonbloom. Crimson Moonbloom. Um. <laughs> sounds like something else. That sounds like a euphemism for a period. Crimson Moonbloom. <laughs> I mean. Okay, I'm sorry. It, it, it does sound like that, though. That's not me. That's the game. All right, we're making a run for it. We're making a run for it. Hi, oh, I can auto run? Can I auto run? Is that what that was? Yeah, there we go, okay. That's something, I suppose. Get your head out of, out of the content. Well, I mean, listen, it's Crimson Moonbloom. Every word there is suggestive of that. Yeah, Crimson Moonbloom also sounds like a, uh, a strain of weed. Absolutely. We got all the things you've asked for. Yeah, I saw the notification. Thanks a lot. So you couldn't just come to us then? We notified you. We got it. That should be us then. I can arrange the necessary supplies now. You can? Great. Then we're glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to repay you after the big op. Be sure to come back alive, eh? Oh, wow, that's convenient. Of course we will. Uh, we salute by giving each other the invisible middle finger. Grub, can you please do the voices, please? I've never used them before, but those Collectopedia cards sure seem nifty. Well, duh. They let you know what your fellow soldiers need, so everyone can chip in. The voices are going to change every time. Give you an example. I've always, on, I'm always on the lookout for fortune covers, right? But they're a, they're a right pain to spot, isn't it? So if I poop, if I pop a request on my card, someone else might see it and send me one if they find it. That's the rough idea. <laughs> So let me get this right. 
We've got this wicked system at our fingertips, and you're using it to dig up weeds? That's so dumb. Y you dare? Alright. Game's just like, let's, let's, let's steep in this. We're all soldiers here. You never know if you'll still be here tomorrow, but still. It's a nice feeling when someone you've met remembers you, thinks about your needs. <laughs> uh, no, it's just gonna be me. Yeah, it's a good system. Whoever made it had the right idea. I bet you've been checking up on your Colony 9 buddies every now and again through your iris, eh? Absolutely. Uh, well, you just be sure to check up on me as well, right? Make it a daily ritual. Haha, <laughs> -ha, way ahead of you, Mwamba. Would recommend to make tracks for assembly point about right now. Shoot, you're right. They're assembling by the Colony 9 front gate. Right, I can't, I'm not gonna remember what a voice sounded like, and this is why I can't do it. I can't do it because I'd like forget already. I'm gonna get, try to get back to this guy. Let's go as soon as you're ready to decamp. Decamp. Hmm, decamp. Hmm. Right in it. <sighs> Standard quest preparing for battle. All right. Setting up arts. You can set up a character's arts by going to the character's arts in the main menu. All right, we're going main menu. We're going characters. Uh, no one can ever tell Tam and Lucy that I've done these voices. No one can ever do that. Uh, select arts now. Normally, you can switch between characters at any time by pressing L and R. Okay. Arts. First off, you need to select an existing art to be replaced with a new one. Don't be a dipshit. Man, I don't want to get rid of ground beef. Next up, select an art to, to, to set to the selected slot. All right, let's go with air slash. Once you set air slash, you can leave the menu. Okay. We should review our arts and skills every now and again. Captain Oblivion, yeah, when the people uh, read audiobooks and stuff, how do they keep track of who gets the uh, what voice? That's always the thing where I'm like, obviously there's a producer there helping them, but even still, like that is what they're getting paid for, the ability to remember the voice. I mean, you, like you, even if um you listen to a, a, a role-playing podcast, right? Like I remember listening to um, Adventure Zone and Griffin McElroy having all those different voices. That blew me away how he was able to keep track of all of those voices. So yeah, some people are just really good at that stuff. How's that power frame of maintenance going? Everything up to spec? Yup. Oh, wait. Yup. I can't do his voice. Yup, well, I'm a bit underslept now, thanks to a certain someone. You shouldn't have let it get in such a state. I hate to admit it, but Agnes will always be the stronger ones. If our power frames aren't kept in tip-top shape, we won't be able to compete on an even footing. I don't really need you to tell me that, Mush. All right. There's Camellia, there's Kite. I guess we'll just run past these people and talk to them. This mission will be wrapped up in about three ticks. Three ticks seems a bit optimistic, mate, but I like that you're showing some heart. I've allocated one, okay. I've allocated about one full tick for all the extra fighting. If you can't bring the heat like that, you've got no chance. I'm the crack fox. <laughs> that's, what I'm going, that's what all my voices are just gonna be variations on the crack fox. Um, sure thing, oh, sure thing, mate. We'll take care of Golden Noah. You can handle feeding the flying clock. We got all kinds of we wibbly wobbly wiki things to do around here, like feeding the flame clock. We've got to top up the commissary and salvage corpse too. The quicker you take them down, the more you can fight, right? In it, oi, oi, oi. Yo, there's a cutscene coming up that's like 40 minutes long. Okay, can someone give me a warning before that starts? Because that's we're cutting off before that. Actually, maybe we should just wrap up now. Uh. This mission will be wrapped up in a bolt. Okay, no, we already did this. Come on, please let me out of here. I don't, why is it that? Why do they stay yellow? Do, I mean, I want it to go away. I'm like looking for that dopamine. 
There's a bit of walking for that. Okay, let's, uh, we'll probably still wrap up here. Ellis, all right. Our destination for all this mission in Alfado Valley. It's still a ways away from here, though. It's, it's a tough trek. Okay, I cannot remember her voice at all now. It's a tough trek for Levinus. You sure your either cylinders are going to last the way? With these new Levinuses, we should be da just dandy. That's exactly why they sent them, I imagine. Gotcha. Just the kind of a big gun support you'd expect for a royally decreed mission, huh? Okay. Uh, Trish, I'm just gonna skip you. Please do Bacalar's little Lord voice, little Lord boy voice. Just do whatever voice, then say in it and you're fine. <laughs> That's okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Was oh, this it? Now we're bringing out the. All right. Okay. How about this? How about we pause here? And uh, I'm pretty sure it'll just bring me back to the beginning of this movie before next time. Okay. We're not going to watch a 40 minute movie right now, but how about this? I commit to doing one more of these streams at least next week. So here's what we'll do next Monday. We will resume from here. We'll pick up and We'll just keep doing that until we don't anymore. And if we miss a week, we'll reassess the situation. Yes, one, one more next Monday. And next Monday, we'll, how about we commit to doing a little bit longer? We'll go from two to five, my time. So we'll do a three hour one and we'll just commit. We'll just know it's going. So next Monday, tune back in for more. Because this one, we only play an hour and a half, but I feel like we got a good bit of the tutorial, the tutorial nailed down. We'll, we'll do it again next week. So we're committing to next week, more Xenoblade Chronicles three. And I should re download the game every week says windmills. Yeah. That's how we should start every one of these streams. Then it's pretty good stuff. All right, everybody let's, um, let's huddle up. Let's let's huddle up where we got this. We got this here. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's go up. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. That was a good stream. We'll be back with more next Monday. Tomorrow, we have the Bombcast. I don't know if we're going to do a stream before that. Uh, we're figuring out Tuesdays. Tuesdays is like, oh, we got the Bombcast later, so we should maybe do some stuff earlier. Uh, I will probably not be on that because we are recording something tomorrow that hopefully will go up as a new feature later this week involving SnowRunners. SnowRunner. We are the SnowRunners. You'll see. I'm really looking forward to getting that off the ground. It, it, it'll be, it'll be right now. It's only going to be a one-time thing, but we'll see. Uh, and hopefully that launches later this week. And then Wednesday's a busy day, a busy, busy day. We got a lot going on. So look out for that. Um, I think we're going to play some new games that we'll be able to talk about beginning on Wednesday. So it's, it's frustrating because Bombcast is going to happen on Tuesday. I would really like to be able to talk about both these games then. But Wednesday, show up for that stuff, some streams. And obviously, we'll have, um, uh, what else is, there's other things happening on Wednesday. I think there's, um, oh, Arcade Pit. Excuse me, Arcade Pit's on Wednesday, a bunch of other stuff. And then um, Thursday, voicemail dump truck, uh, some other streams. I think on Friday, after Game Mess Mornings, they are going to pick up Mortuary Assistant again. So look out for that. And then, yeah, UPF, it's going to, it's another big week and we're planning, we're, we're going to be trying to do a mix of what you've seen over the last couple of weeks where we have our normal shows, our regular shows. We're going to be doing more of these streams, uh, especially right after Game S mornings. Uh, but, you know, it's like Wednesday, Thursday and Friday will be easier to figure out than, you know, the scrubby stream on Monday, which I guess we got figured out for the next five fucking years with this game. Um, but then, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of pulling all this stuff off. And then we'll be doing stuff like what we're doing with SnowRunner, where, hey, we're going to throw something out, see how it goes, and take it from there. So it's going to be a good week here on GiantBomb.com. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having you all come hang out with us. But until next time, have a good one. Take care of yourself. And goodbye. Oh, my God. I just